I hate intros. Yes, folks, my hair does stay like this for the entirety of the intro, so you're just gonna have to start laughing at it because it just does not change. I'm so sorry. Hey, girly pops. Hi, my name is Haley Pham. Welcome back to my Chan. Chan? Or welcome if you're new. Sorry, I'm having a really fun day editing. Today, I am going to be doing a transformation into a girly girl. A real girly girly girl pop, you know? And big thank you to Lulu's for sponsoring this video. They are the biggest proponent in helping me become a girly girl because they sent me the most beautiful dresses ever. So my style is, I don't really have a style. I go back and forth, but this entire month, basically, I just wore oversized shirts and sweatpants. So that's not necessarily tomboy. And obviously these are just stereotypes. I don't think anyone calls anyone a tomboy anymore. Am I a tom tomboy? Not really. But am I girly by any means? Not really. Something has come over me within the past few months where I just really, really, really want to be a really girly girl. I mean, there's no other way to say it. I call you guys girly pops, but are you even girly? Like I'm not that much, I don't think. But I just don't like wearing any sort of clothing that hugs my body to show my figure. I like to wear very baggy clothing, big shirts, big hoodies, sweatpants, just basically anything where you can't see what my body looks like in any fashion at all. That's my style. <laughs> Also, what is happening to my hair? I did not realize. <laughs> We're just gonna keep it like that. I don't really care. She was a savage girl. So luckily for this transformation, Lulu's has sent me over a bunch of gorgeous dresses. I screamed when my manager texted me and was like, do you like Lulu's because they're interested in sponsoring you? And I was like, heck yes, I freaking love Lulu's and I wanna be a girly girl, please. I just, I freaked out, okay? And we got a bunch of dresses. They're so cute. I'm so excited to be a girly girl by the end of this video. If you've never shopped at Lulu's before, this is the time to do it. They have the cutest spring pieces, spring transition pieces, which means you can wear it now where it's a little bit chillier, and you can also wear them during the actual springtime when it's warmer at very affordable price points. And I have a handy dandy link for you guys in the description right down there. You can use my code to get 15% off, but it will only be active for three to five days. So if you want to buy something, you should definitely use the link. So thank you so much, Lulu's, for sponsoring this video. I am going to wear the frick out of those dresses because after this video, I will be a true... I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit more about Lulu's in a little bit, but for now, the transformation. Okay, so I've written down a few things in my handy dandy bullet journal of how I'm going to make my transformation into a girly girl. There's a cliff bar stuck to my computer. <laughs> I swear, if I get any comments saying that I'm a good singer, I'm deleting my channel because if you don't think that I'm joking, it's ridiculous. I'm not trying to sing for real. So first off, I'm gonna head over to Pinterest real quick and we're just gonna figure out what girly girls like to do, what they like to wear, and just what they look like because I, they don't look like this. Let's type in girly girl aesthetic. Okay, so um, I see a lot of pink. I see lots of heels. I see makeup. I see silk dresses. Yes, queen. Um, okay, just lots of pink. That's basically all I'm seeing. This is so stereotypical. This entire transformation series is just about stereotypes, you know, so. Okay, well that was simple. Okay, well, that was literally so simple. So we need heels, dresses, something pink, and curly hair. These are gonna be my steps to be a girly girl. First, I'm gonna take a shower. That is something I don't frequent. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna shave. Um, I haven't shaved in so long. Actually, I'm gonna show you my armpits right now. Yeah, um, I'm gonna shave those off, sadly. I need to shave my legs if we're gonna be wearing dresses. Then I'm going to lotion myself up. I hardly ever wear lotion, and it would make me smell better and feel better, but I just get a little bit lazy. Same girl. And then I'm going to fake tan. I have been so pale recently to the point where it scares me and like I look a little bit sick and I feel like my life is just better when I'm tan so I definitely want to get my fake tan on. It's just it takes like two hours and I just really don't like doing it but we're just gonna do it for the sake of this video. And then I'm gonna paint my nails and toes white. I'm gonna pluck my eyebrows and then I'm gonna beat my face, do a makeup look. I'm gonna curl my hair which I haven't done in the longest time and then get this guys. I'm gonna put on a dress. 
I know, very rare for me, but at the end of this, I'm gonna have a fashion show for you of all the new dresses that I got. Who's ready for my girly transformation? Woohoo, let's go. Here's my before. Um, this is like a typical day in the life outfit for me. I actually just got these new sweatpants. These are much smaller than the ones I usually wear. The ones I usually wear are like this big. Today I thought I'd go a little bit more tight fitting, you know. This is like a nice little Betty Boop baseball shirt and a nice little hat. Because my hair is very oily because like I said, I haven't showered in a few days and I'm not just saying that to be relatable. I actually just don't shower that often. Um, <laughs> we should probably take a shower first. Let's go do that. And by we, I meant only me, freaking weirdo. All right, it's time for me to enter the shower. Is my razor even in there? <sighs> Shaving takes so freaking long. I'm so excited to be tan and everything, but this is gonna be like a three hour process of shaving, exfoliating, lotioning up, tanning, sitting in my tan. So it feels great afterwards, but then like when the next week rolls around, you just don't wanna do it again. So that's why being girly just like takes a little bit more effort and 2019 is the year that I'm willing to put forth that effort, so. Let's see what I look like after. Ooh. Big reveal. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm so excited to be a girly girl. Oh my gosh. I kicked that thing right there. I didn't fart, I swear. See you in a bit. Yay, I showered. Showers feel so good. I look like I just came out of the womb. Goo goo ga. Time to moisturize. What a concept. I should do this more often. <laughs> I look so girly right now. Ooh. I feel good. I should do this every week, honestly. Okay, so after you shave, apparently your pores are open, so then you can't self tan because then it'll make like <coughs> little dots in your skin. So in the meantime, I'm gonna chill in my robe, be a little girl, do some work on my computer and just kind of wait. I don't know why I always put off shaving and like moisturizing and actually self tanning because I always love how it looks and feels afterward, but I'm always too lazy to actually do it. And that is what has been keeping me from being a girly girl. But not anymore, folks. Okay, update while I am letting my pores clothes, I guess. I was doing some work. You guys were sending me screenshots on Twitter of my channel and my newest video wasn't there. It was a car vlog and it just like wasn't on my channel for you guys. So you guys couldn't watch it unless you like went to my Instagram and clicked the link, which is so weird. So I tweeted YouTube. Luckily they tweeted me back and then Ryan found this page where he figured out how to fix it. So I think I fixed it, but the views are still so low because it didn't go to anyone's subscription boxes and no one got post notifications about it. So if you could do me a favor if you haven't seen it go watch it please it's just like it's just a chill video i basically went and did what i used to do which is where i like just get my car car vlog i went to chick-fil-a and then at the end i dressed some like not rumors but just concerns and kind of cleared some stuff up so if you haven't watched it you can watch it after this video i will link it and hopefully that never happens again because it was very stressful and it sucks when you work so hard in a video and then youtube just breaks and no one saw it so okay not no one but like you know not as many people as as I was hoping would see this beautiful creation that I made. So if you could go do that, that would be great. Okay, bye. Okay, I think I have dried off enough. I'm gonna tan now. I really, oh, I hate tanning. It takes so long. Ow, my ears hurt. Your privileged brat complaining is annoying. But anyways, I'll show you the before. The biggest difference is always in my legs. So here are my legs before and here's my face. Okay, I'll be back in like, Three hours, it takes so long. Okay, now that it looks like I rolled around in some dirt, it's time to do this for two hours. Okay, it's time to freaking shower this stuff off. I'll show you what my legs look like before I wash it off. Wow, crazy transformation, huh? Wow, two showers in one day. We're getting real girly. Do I look too fat in this? Okay, I'm back. That is enough showers for today. I have never spent so much time in a restroom, except for that time I was food poisoned. Okay, now it's time for me to pluck my eyebrows and paint my nails and toes. I wanted to do white nail polish, but I don't think I have any nail polish at all. So I'm gonna go check for that, but it's not looking bright for my future right now. I might have to go to the store and buy it. 
Yeah, can't find any nail polish. So for now, I'm just gonna pluck my eyebrows. The reason I put in 24 hours in the title is because these transformations are actually so hard to do within a singular day. I actually have to like go to sleep because I'm so tired doing all these random things and then wake up and do it and like finish it. So this is truly like a full weekend process. Let's pluck our eyebrows, ladies. I once had a friend, if she's watching this, you know who you are. Every day that I went over to her house, she would end the night by plucking her eyebrows and then every morning she would pluck them again. Again. And I was like, how many hairs can you possibly have to pluck them that much? But this is something I don't do often, so pretty good for me. I would go and get like super long acrylics because I asked you guys on Instagram what girly girls do, but my fammy is coming in a few days and we're probably gonna go do that for a different video. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna paint my nails myself. Okay, it has been a long day of trying to be girly and it's so much effort. I don't know how people do it. But then I obviously looked up the queen, Lauren Gray, and then she was my inspo and she has just given me the motivation to keep going. Also, sorry Lauren Gray, but that was completely sarcastic. I put on my favorite hoodie <clears throat> and I've retreated back to my natural state. I just need a break from all this girliness. I'm gonna crack open my very last root beer for the month. I'm doing no soda this month because I gotta get in shape for some photo shoots in March, but uh, I'm gonna enjoy this and go downstairs and play pool with my aunt. And I'm gonna paint my nails. Being girly is actually much harder than it looks, guys. I love being a little boy. Me in my natural state. Hey girly pops, I'm back. I'm going to paint my nails while I watch my queen Tati. These are the only colors my mom has. This lighting is so tragic. I don't want to paint my nails. Being a girl is actually so much effort and I don't know if I'm willing to commit to this lifestyle, but we'll have to judge after. I'm a girl. Here's the before in three, two, one. Hacha, I did it. I also painted my toes, but I'm not showing you that because I don't want creepers on this face. I'm gonna go to sleep and we're gonna wake up and become a real girl tomorrow. Real girl. Hi, it's the next day. I'm a bit more tan. I was putting on my shoes today and my foot was tan and pink. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so different. I look put together. So we're about to do the final steps to be a girly girl. I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna curl my hair, and then we're gonna put on a dress and heels and jewelry, and I'm just gonna give you a nice little twirl around. And makeup tutorials are the most boring thing in history to me, so I'm just gonna do my makeup and come back. I think this liquid lipstick is really old and it kind of shrivels up my lips But it's like the pinkest girliest one I have it's like Barbie doll pink, you know Maybe I'll do some gloss to help it out. Whatever. We're not fixing it. Okay. It's time to curl my hair I have not curled my hair in so long. I oh no oh no Literally every picture on Pinterest when I typed in girly girl aesthetic every girl had curly hair So we're just gonna do this. I don't even know if I Oh, yep, I remember. I do it with a straightening iron because it looks better with short hair, in my opinion. It's just a like, little less intense, you know? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to put on the dress and see the final thing. I literally keep looking at myself in the mirror and then getting freaked out because I see something pink on my nails or face. And I'm like, wait, what's going on? And then I remember what I'm trying to do. My only issue with dressing girly is like, I feel like it draws more attention to yourself because you're wearing something nice or pink or something in my outfits. Like I, I literally wore this to church. Like it's the most basic thing because I want people to not look at me and I don't want to draw any sort of attention to myself. So being girly, I like, but not, and not in public. I don't like being girly in public. Like imagine being Lauren gray level of girly and wearing those outfits and that amount of makeup and hair done like you're gonna get people looking at you you know not only because she's pretty but also because you know it's like so done up and i think it looks good but i just don't like people looking at me so i just want to like wear a great sweatshirt and doesn't draw any eyes it's so hard to do the back usually i would just like ignore the back but i don't want you to see that in this video and then roast me so i'm gonna try my best I haven't seen my hair curly in so long. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go put on the dress, heels, jewelry, and we will do a reveal. Okay, ready for the reveal? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm not trying to be dramatic. These heels are so... Big, so tall. Woo, okay. Everything I'm wearing is from Lulu's right now. Thank you, Lulu's, for sponsoring this video. Oh my gosh. 
So clearly I chose the most dramatically girly dress possible. This is hot pink silk. It's got freaking shoulder pads like the 70s. It's tight fitting. Let me show you my earrings. I'm wearing humongous earrings, a necklace. Look at these heels. Online, I didn't realize they'd be this tall. I mean, it's perfect for this type of transformation, but these bad boys are tall, dude. I'm gonna try to walk in these heels. Okay, ready? Fashion show time. Oh my gosh, I'm really trying. I'm not being dramatic for the video. That's really scary. I'm honestly terrified of this. Okay. Okay, this is the transformation, but just for fun, I'm gonna go try on the other dresses because they're all so girly and pretty and I just wanna show Lulu some thank you, so let's go do that. I feel so exposed in this dress, oh my gosh. Voila! Another dress, this one is red, so cute for Valentine's and just like spring in general. I also changed my earrings and my shoes. These shoes are very easy to walk in. These are the shoes, they're so easy to walk in. These ones are super popular. I'm pretty sure I even saw these ones on Pinterest and they go with absolutely everything. I love them so much. Okay, now I'm just gonna give you a fashion show and just like walk around in dresses. Alright, I pranked ya. I'm ending the video now in this dress. If you want to see the rest of the dresses, I will be wearing them for the entirety of February on my Instagram because I kind of do my Instagram feed through themes of the month. Like for October, it was like all dark and flash pictures and I thought for February, I would be the girliest girl I could possibly be and I have enough dresses from Lulu's to basically fill my Instagram feed for February. So, that is what I'm gonna do. Plug, plug, plug. Speaking of plugs, you can subscribe to this channel because I post videos every single Fam Friday, sometimes on Wednesday. So you, can so you can click the subscribe button to join the family and also turn on the post notifications because especially with my car vlog It just didn't even show up for anyone So really the only people who got to see it are the people who were following me on Instagram So you can do that. I also have a Twitter. I also have a vlog channel that I've been posting a lot on lately And yeah, I freaking loved this transformation video I know people have been doing a lot of transformations But it is a series that I started on my channel So I feel like I can do it for as long as I want to that sounded that didn't sound how I wanted it to sound. It's supposed to be a little bit sweeter than that. But once again, thank you so much to Lulu's for sponsoring this video. I heart you. Please work with me again because I'm obsessed with your dresses. Okay, that is enough for this video. I will see you somewhere else on the internet. God bless girly pops. Bye.